Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. We've got so many things to go over with you today, of course. We're going to talk about games of November, games that are coming out, and uh, getting to more some of the specific games because there's some large titles. As we all know, the holiday season is among us and there's just a ton of games coming out. Oh God, um, it's the holiday. It's the holidays. So, uh, and we'll get into some more news after that as well. So we got all kinds of stuff, as always, to go over with you. My name is Will. With us today, as always, Mr. Dime. Yep. And we have Mr. Gage. Hello. Okay, guys, let's talk about games in November. Okay. Need for Speed? Yeah. Coming need, out. <laughs> need for Speed. So, um. so when we saw, I'll say this about Need for Speed. When we saw the early... The stuff at E3? Yeah. Yes. It looks cool. The stuff that's really supposed good to look cool. At E3. And then now it's not looking so good. So if you listen to our other show, The Checkpoint, our weekly podcast, you'll, you'll have heard our episode where I get, I break down Need for Speed's beta in depth for everybody to hear, and man, was that not fun! I think I think the best way that I've explained it from since then to people is it's like 1995 pop-up ads on the internet. <laughs> you click one and five more open up. It's honestly, that's how he explained it to me. It's I was like, it like sounds so awful. Being searching the internet with that ad block, like, and it, it's. It was really hard for me to have fun with it. Yeah. Searching shady internet sites with that. Well, how that block. Yeah, and that's unfortunate to say because I love Need for Speed. Oh, I love Need for Speed. I, uh, well, what can they do? It. I mean, it is the beta. Can they? Is there enough changes that can be made? They said they were making some changes. Uh, I, don't, I didn't really get into the whole article because after that beta, I was really turned off by the game. But I, I saw that they're making changges, not specific to, specifically to what, but whatever I had a problem with was basically what the core mechanic of the game they were going for was. The driving didn't feel like Need for Speed. Uh, it felt it upsetting. It felt less arcadey than I'd like to. More like uh, Midnight Club. Yeah, I, probably more like Midnight Club. Like and I, I hate. I don't want to come down on Need for Speed. Like I, you again, go play it yourself. Yeah, it isn't beta. We'll see yeah. once the final product comes out. Uh, a track record of success. We'll see. Yeah, yeah for years. But uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully they can live up to the name. <laughs> um, a couple other games uh, coming out: Rise of the Tomb Raider. So this game looks fun. Yeah, and it's exclusive to Xbox One for a while, right? For a, a year. year. A year. Whole a year. year. That's ridiculous. So um, I'm sure those of you who follow video games, I'm sure you watch the trailers just like we do. But this game does look pretty cool. I mean, for what we've seen, the gameplay as well. I yeah, mean, Laura Croft is a serial killer now or something? I, no, like, of course yeah. not. <laughs> not <laughs> this game went in a totally different That's direction. Some brutal <laughs> animations. For well, by that, people. by that standard, then Nathan Drake's a serial killer too. It was on spoiler yeah. for me. Yeah, it'll just be Rise of the Raider. Yeah, I'm saying they're, they're just Raider. That's why it's the, it's on PS4 a year later because they're clashing together. That's Uncharted Five tie-in. Huh? Wouldn't that be sweet? That's actually not a bad theory. <laughs> Ooh, hey, here here you are, Internet. Here's your conspiracy for that whole year. Think about it. It's put it not together. A bad theory. Uh, two totally different characters, very similar. I mean. Totally Drake's different. also got the Indiana Jones thing going on. Laura, not so much. I mean, she just gets kind of beat up a lot Is more. She's a girl. Huh? No, <laughs> what are you talking about? She's totally like Indiana. I'm trying to start something where there's a... <laughs> I just like arguing with you guys. All right, so Rise of the Tomb Raider uh, <laughs> looks uh, fantastic. Again, only on Xbox One. Uh, Mario Tennis, Ultra Smash. I'm excited about this game. I think it looks cool. I, I like think Mario it looks cool. I like the original Mario Tennis. I love the Mario sports games. Dude, I don't know why Gage, you're not, your are you doesn't matter. crazy? I don't, you haven't said anything yet. The, okay, okay, well, let's talk, let's, let's talk about this Mario Tennis. We haven't heard anything about this game up until a week ago when they just came out and said there's online and some other mode that didn't interest me. And you can whatsoever. get mega mushrooms to where you're like completely gigantic. The size of the stage. Now, that from what I've seen could be a problem sometimes and but if you're expecting it and you're in that game mode it's fine but if you're trying to do like actual competitive Mario Tennis it, it, I'm guessing if they do a competitive good. section they'll probably have Take power ups turned yeah. off yep. kind of like Smash they're yeah. just straight brawling that's for sure it. but we don't know that that could be like their we don't. selling point of the game I'll tell you that because they um, don't talk about this game for some reason Mario Tennis their holiday title on the 64 was so much fun beyond fun how many so times we fun. talk about Nintendo games? We're like, oh, well, the Nintendo 64 version was awesome. The GameCube the new version stuff was awesome. Sucks though. The GameCube version was awesome. Yeah, it no, was good. I don't know. Yeah, it definitely I was. Don't, I don't like it. I didn't it, play the GameCube. It was so much fun. I, it was a blast. Did you play it? Yeah. Okay. It was a lot I always, of fun. I always picked Boo. It never worked out. That's probably why you're not. I mean, he's a tough character to play. Yeah. He actually requires skill and stuff. Now, so uh, Mario Tennis uh, for the Wii U it looks good. A little curious to see at how it works with the game pad, uh, but we'll see. Probably not well. I, I don't know. I, who knows? I'm yeah. not a fan. Maybe do they still have a whole 
I want to see someone with a gamepad doing this. <laughs> Come on, get in there. <laughs> they got two straps on their hands to keep it from flying out. Yeah, that would be funny to me. I'd buy it for that. Right, that would be funny. <laughs> uh, StarCraft II Legacy of the Void, uh, of course, uh, big shout out to Red Bull and the Battlegrounds, that was so much fun, thank you once again for having us at that event, that was great. Um, but uh, we saw the gameplay there, Gage, at, the, at Battlegrounds, it was looked similar, but apparently there are some changes that were made into the, to the game, especially for competitive gamers. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big StarCraft guy, so I couldn't like... You know, point it out and tell you like this is it. But and I wasn't there, so I didn't get to see it. So. Yeah. Sure, sure. But uh, that game's coming out, so uh, highly anticipated from a lot of people. So if you're into RTS games and you like StarCraft, you like Civilization games like that, check out Legacy of the Void. Um, there's some other games coming out, which we'll get uh, into more in depth uh, on our next segment. So look out for that. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 obviously is coming uh. out. Whee! Massive game. Super excited. Yeah. Uh, Fallout 4. Massive that's, game. That's not that big. You can just brush that one. What's Fallout? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see that they've got their own beer coming out for this game? Yeah. They partnered with a beer company in Connecticut or something to fa to manufacture Fallout beer. I, I think, think they, they should do, do the Nuka sodas. They should have done a Nuka Cola. They should have done yeah. a Nuka Cola. Yeah. yeah, Nuka Cola. But no. Yeah. Because people want beer for some reason. Imagine that. Um, <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront, of course, also coming yeah, out, nine. looking good. Um, we should bring you up to speed on a very important topic. Here we we go. have set a date to watch Braveheart yeah. for Gage, so we can actually watch that. He can enjoy a good movie from the past, and then Nine will then in turn, as long as that happens, then play Battlefront. So look out for that. As long that. as you didn't skip out. <laughs> I'm going to be there. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be there? All right, so those are your games wow, for November. Uh, lots of good stuff and even more big titles coming out in December. So, of course, we'll talk about that soon. So, uh, when we get back, we're going to talk about Call of Duty Fallout 4 and Star Wars Battlefront right after this. Hey, welcome back. We just got done talking about all the games coming out in November, and now we're going to talk about some of those games specifically, some of the bigger titles. We'll start with Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Fallout. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Call of Duty. You said we were going to start with Call of Duty. I was going to start Fallout. mixing the names together, but in my head because we were just doing it. We spent five minutes doing it. Call of, <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, we've talked about this game many, many times, but it is a massive game. It is just huge. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Story trailer came out. Yeah, That's there was cool. a new trailer. Really, I didn't really, see it. really cool. I didn't watch it. It looks really it's got cool. painted black for the song too. Oh, nice. Yeah, like for the third shooting game. Yeah, but it's a perfect. perfect. Yeah, it's a great song, but like every shooting game comes out, you do it at least once. Every franchise has got it in there. I can't sure, think of one other. Pretty sure Battlefield's done it. No. Pretty sure Call of Duty's used it before. I think so. For a bla for a Black Ops game. Well, then that's okay. It's not. Might, it might, they might have used it for the other two Black Ops games. <laughs> the game Probably. has black. No, I think for Black Ops Two, they used black uh, back in black. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't remember. I don't I, that's the one I didn't pick up. Regardless, this is not important to what we're talking about. No. <laughs> so, the new trailer was good, though? Yeah, the new trailer was awesome. Really awesome. I'm excited. So, campaign, you can play by yourself or co-op. That's a huge deal for a lot of people, especially yes. for people that want to get into a Call of Duty. And, hey, you can, can help you. Hey, follow me this way. I mean, great experiences there, I'm sure. Yep. But if you and your friends suck at online multiplayer, like Have fun with campaign, sure. Yeah, I and love the campaign. We were talking about this uh, not too long ago. I, for me, I used the campaign as a <laughs> kind of refresher on mechanics and all that kind of thing, and I, I won't even touch the multiplayer until I go through the campaign. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be a way to learn all that new stuff. They jam in there all the time. Sure. So. Um, multiplayer, of course, lots of new modes, some new characters, right? So yeah, well, they have that They, they changed thing. the way multiplayer's done completely with this one. You no longer get like custom classes. You have specific character classes, and you just build your loadouts. But you, yeah, you get. But everybody has access to the same weapons now. Yeah. Um, uh, Pretty much, it's your special power-ups that changes between you can be a each robot. character. Yeah. You can, yeah, you can you be can a, robot. which is cool. I, I liked some. I definitely liked the additions. Gage and I played that at E3. Mm -hmm. I thought it was. Uh, Pretty much flawless, except for the one thing we had an issue with. Uh, hopefully, they'll fix that. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, the window thing. Jumping fix windows, your windows and climbing <laughs> ledges. Well, it's so weird. The windows and the ledges, because sometimes just scaling over something yeah. uh, appeared to have some slowdown, so hopefully that's fixed. Or um, I so. I would hope so. Frame Arc Activision, show, make sure that's so. fixed before you release that game. Uh, and then, of course, Zombies. Zombies has got uh, a lot of people buy the game because of Zombies. It's a big deal. It's huge. Yeah. Uh, and it has a campaign this time. Yeah. Own progression system, XP system. I kind of thought that Black Ops 2 had a kind of a campaign with the transit thing. 
I mean, they, I mean, they definitely tried to. It was more it was, of a. It was the start of something. But this is a full blown this story. Is like four characters with intermixed stories trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. I don't know how it works. Completely. By the way, you're watching. Listen to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Gage. Hello. This is Nye. Yep. So, um, are you on board with this game? You picking this game up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Call of Duty. I pick it up every year. And I, I never regret picking it up. And I know how everyone's like, oh, it's Call of Duty. It's the same thing every year. I'm like, but it's fun. Yeah. I like to have fun when I'm playing a video it's game. Fun. Call of Duty is fun. I definitely, you know, if they add enough stuff to make it worth picking it up again, I'll pick it up again. I, th I feel that they don't do this <coughs> this year. Yeah. You definitely get your $60 yeah, worth of this I, one. I think so. You got three different things. Call of Duty, check it out. Uh, Fallout 4, um, <laughs> just, you know, I, I think this is a game, I've said this before, I think this game, people are going to buy this game because everybody else is buying this game. People that had no intentions of buying this game are going to pick this game up because their friends are playing it. And it's just going to be a ma it's going to sell like crazy. It's going to be so much, it's going to be huge. Sell like hotcakes. Yeah. Does this sell more than The Witcher? Oh, yeah. easily. Okay. Way yeah. easily. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Six million by Christmas. Six million by Christmas? So yep. Is that the target or what they're anticipating? That's what I'm predicting. Oh, yeah? I want to see that number. <laughs> I can't wait for that to come through. <laughs> Think about it. Gage? What's up? You going to buy this game? Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm not going to play it right away. Oh, yeah? There's too much other stuff to play, plus Tomb Raider comes out the same day, so I'm going to get my Tomb Raider fixed because it's finishable, and then I'll get into Fallout. <laughs> he says it's finishable. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, I mean, come on. I mean, I, if I, I start Fallout <laughs> first, I'm never going to get the Tomb Raider. I would be shocked if you finish Fallout. It's same. I'll finish Totally Fallout. shocked. <laughs> I may not finish it. Why are you going to buy a game you have no intention of even going all the way through? What, Fallout? Yeah. He owns The Witcher. Yeah, I own The Witcher. I own The Witcher. The Witcher's protecting my other games. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so um, right there, under him. Nine, obviously, you're going to pick up Fallout Oh, I'm 4. definitely picking up yeah. Fallout. I already told my wife, I was like, you can't stop me. This is happening, yeah. whether you want it to or not. Save my vacation days for this week. <laughs> I should have. Yeah, I, I think this game, I mean, like like your Skyrims and even your Witchers and games like that, these games are time-consuming games. If you want to get your money's worth, your $60 worth, definitely your buy a game like this because you will have so much gameplay and things to do, places to explore. You can go straight through, but... It gives you the freedom to do whatever you want. This game's going to be... If you can go straight through Fallout, you're not playing the game, right? That's true. <laughs> you're not playing right. You're not, not playing at all. This game is intended to be played, Bungie. You're not Fallout right. <laughs> all right. Um, Star Wars Battlefront. Hooray! Yay. It's another huge game that we're all going to play. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, he'll never play Tomb Raider, and he'll never play Fallout, because he's yes, just Yes, I will. They come out the week before Star Wars. Fine. <laughs> he may not finish Tomb Raider after all because of Star Wars. No, I'm finishing it. Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> Gage, are you gonna are you gonna buy Star Wars? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> love Star Wars. Love Battlefront. Love love playing. What are you most 3. excited about with this game? Um, I probably just the effect that it's the best looking Star Wars I've ever had my hands on. No, that's that's the truth. It looked great. Yeah. It sounds great. It's just, and then when I'm in there, I feel like I'm playing through a Star Wars battle. I agree with especially all that. Especially getting my you know, but handed to me playing as the rebels. But you're Hawk. still having fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. Even the losing hundred to zero is still fun to me. I love that. Nine. I guess we're, we all know that you're going to reserve your opinion until you play it, which is fair. But at least you're going to give it. An I probably honest still review. won't buy it because if there's so many other things to buy this. I think Christmas. it's pride at this point. I think you're not doing it out of spite. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. Now listen, when we play this game and it's actually, I will give you an honest opinion. If okay. I have fun, I will say that when I have you, fun. When you play it, can we stream it? Sure. Okay. So you can give me a live impression. So I, can, <laughs> I like that. So I, dude, I, I swear. I'm on board with that. I want to. I want to be a part of that. Yeah. Okay. When we get back, when we talk about Sony, Halo Five, more PlayStation, all kinds of stuff, it's gonna be great. Right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. We we're just talking about uh, some of the bigger games coming out in November, and we were talking about more exclusively Call of Duty Fallout 4 and Star Wars Battlefront. Now let's talk about some Sony and Microsoft news. Sony drops first-party support on the Vita, um, which not necessarily support. Well, I'm just sorry, development, development. Which they did say they were going to support the Vita for a while. Which is interesting. They're going to support it, but they're not developing for it. They're just not going to put their AAA titles on it. Right. So you won't see, like, Uncharted for it again. You won't right. see... Is this bad news? No. Okay. There's plenty 
of Japanese developers making a bunch of games for this. I do feel like like some of the more um, I don't want to say bizarre, but more out there kind of RPGs do really well on oh, the yeah. handhelds. It's yeah. The obscure RPGs do really well. Really on well on the handhelds for some reason. But you still playing your Vita? Yeah. Okay. What do you Vita. play? I play Ragnarok obviously a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's my point. And I mean, I'm going to pick up the new Sword Art Online when it comes out in November. Exactly. So, weird RPG. So I guess I mean this would free up some of their either cash or development teams to focus on their PS4 stuff or. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, th I think Sony realizes, you know, maybe our resources aren't better, sp are best spent somewhere else. Somewhere else right. Instead right. of being on Vita, while other no, people that, can just But I think they Vita. finally realized, let the company that has led the handheld market for the past 30 years Have just it. keep running the handheld market. Yeah. Sega? Yeah, those guys. <laughs> With their the game 17 gear? battery game gear. The Nomad? Ah, oh, the Nomad. <sighs> um. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Why don't you talk about it, no uh, Sony also, uh, the PlayStation Store <laughs> adds a wish list feature. Right. Yeah. So, so far, it's only online on the website and through your mobile device, the app. So how will that work exactly? Well, you add it to your wish list, and any of your friends can see your wish list that you've shared out, and they can buy you things for Christmas that way. Or maybe for Engine Plus works on Steam, like, here's a game on my wish list. Hey, it's on sale. Send me an email. Pick it up. Hmm. So keep track of the things you want because it's easy to forget what you want when all these it's games a come out every thing. week. It's a social thing. I don't, I, not on board that last statement. Easy to forget what you want. So you must not want it that bad. I got a list of games that I've missed over the last year. Well, then, dude, if you really want to play them, you'll remember what you want to play. I don't know. There's some Lego games in there. You need I somebody else to remind, me, remind you that you actually wanted to play games? Yep. Oh, the dimensions. There are a lot of games out there, okay. though. So I, in some way, I guess I can see how, that. How long before Star Wars Battlefront ends up on his wish list? Never. I don't know. See, again, there's the pride thing kicking in. I'm going to get his phone and just do it on I his don't phone. want it. <laughs> you don't know why you don't want it. What if someone gave it to you? What if I somebody put it on your wish list and someone gives it to you? If somebody gave it to me, I might play it. I'm going to start a Kickstarter for 63.17 so you pick up this stupid game. It's going to be funny. Fine. If that we, happens, we're trying to if raise, money raise money for nine to play Star Wars Battlefront. If you can raise the money for me to buy If you want to hear him rave on about Battlefront, please donate. I will buy it and I will stream it every single week. I want to do a whole show devoted to you talking about Star Wars Battlefront. That's, that's, that's going to be great. That's By the way, you're watching we'll and you're listening to Press Start TV. This is nine. Yeah. This is Gage. Yeah, now you want to be <laughs> Gage. Hi. <laughs> and I'm Will. Uh, so the wishlist feature, there you go, on the PlayStation Store. Also, PlayStation Experience is coming in December. Um, yeah. What do you guys think of that? What, do you, what can we I expect? I loved last year's. Yeah? I thought it was good stuff. I hated the fact that they kept teasing God of War and didn't do anything about it. So mad. Are you more mad so that it didn't mad. show up at E3? Even more mad that it wasn't even, more even mad at E3 well, this year. Well, I think... It so was I like, since they teased making. it, we would probably expect it to show up at E3, and it yeah. still didn't show up. How mad are you going to be when it doesn't show up in December? Up. Listen, he's going to show up. There's no doubt. But when? I have a feeling Kratos will be announced at The experience? E3. Or, yeah, the PlayStation experience. I think so, also. They put out a list of developers <laughs> that are going to make an appearance at this thing, and Santa Monica's on there. Well, Santa Monica was on there last year. They were on year, there too. last year. And they were yeah. all wearing... God of War branded stuff. They came out and played the God of War theme music, and they still didn't do it. Even that's the funny part. That's funnier to me than anything. I, I hope they keep doing that until like they want to release it the next week. I hope it's still ready to come out. That would make me really happy. I don't know whether announcements they can do, but I mean, they definitely they have some games coming out this holiday season. But they they're going they've to got, need I to. I mean, they've got some first par uh, third party exclusive devs that are out there working on stuff. They can show us more Horizon. Oh yeah, that's. Uh, Wow. Oh, Last yeah. Guardian, probably. Uh, yeah, Horizon. I think we'll get more Horizon stuff, because I thought I think I saw Gorilla on that list of developers. Sure. Probably yeah, some more Uncharted yeah. footage? Maybe. Maybe. I think Uncharted will be the Details on the beta. Well, actually, uh, details on probably. the beta. Last, last year at the uh, PlayStation Experience, they actually sh that's the first place that they showed us the, the gameplay, finally. Right. Uh, but So we'll see. Um, this is their little showcase. This is their little E3. I don't know. For me. Um, yeah. Does, uh, well, I guess Nintendo it's does. It's the public, too, which is cool. Nintendo does the directs every month, but they, I mean, they haven't done anything in a while. So what about uh, Microsoft? Do they have an event like this? They should. I mean, they, they'll probably end up picking up, but... I uh, think they're going to start... Well, they, they currently have their Windows event yeah. every year. Yeah. I think they will merge Xbox into in that now, now that, that uh, the two Windows are, like, cohesive. Mm -hmm. So I think they'll start seeing more Xbox stuff. But Sony's PlayStation experience is open to the public. Awesome. 
All right, but uh, and going back to Microsoft, uh, some some Microsoft news as promised. Halo Five was rumored to be coming to the PC, um, which got a lot of people excited. But I don't think that's it's not happening. Not Frank O'Connor uh, was asked. He said um, said someone said something like, How about Halo Five coming to uh, PC? And he's like, Yeah, there's absolutely a possibility of Halo Five coming to the PC. And then like all the Xbox people are like, Hey, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. This, this is, is an exclusive. Why? Why? Xbox. Why would they get upset about that? They want to sell consoles. Okay. They need to move consoles. If it's coming to PC, I thought you meant like Xbox fans, like the players. No, 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 no. No, no. no, no. no Xbox higher devs. Ups. Yeah, they're like, No, this is an ex Xbox One exclusive. You're gonna only play it on Xbox One. There it is. But. With the new Xbox One experience and Windows 10, you yeah. can stream it to your PC. Absolutely. So technically, you could play it on. And it's not it's not unlikely that a Halo game comes out after release to a PC anyway. Halo One came out like a year and a half later. Halo on Two, a couple years Halo Two that. came out Halo later. Halo Three is out on Windows now. We will eventually see it on PC. There's no doubt. It's just so, not. Gonna, it's going to be like the Rockstar experience. A little bit of a delay. Yeah. <laughs> Shocker. There's well after the game's release. <laughs> Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> also, uh, a big holiday season for Microsoft. They do have the uh, um, backwards compatibility thing coming out, so, so that's a big deal. Yes. Um, anyway, that's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Check us out on PressStartTV.com. That's PressStartTV.com. You can check out all of our footage there. Thank you so much for joining us. Till next time. See ya. Later. Bye, everybody.